Evening, everybody. I'm Rod Baker with God and Rod. I want to talk about rumors. <laughs> I want to talk about what it's like when you spread rumors. How's that? Let's call it what it is. Let's call it character assassination. I keep thinking about that song, all these rumors, rumors everywhere, <laughs> don't understand them, and I really don't care, I think is how it goes. But anyway, the point of it is, is this, you know, when, when you talk about another person, and, and I, I got to this place quite a few years ago where if they weren't in the same room, then the only thing I had to say about them was good. And if I couldn't find any good, why talk about them at all? And if anybody else wanted to talk about them, all that did was showed me that they were the kind of people that would talk about me when I wasn't there. <laughs> and it's funny because you run into people from school and things like that. And um, when you run into them from school, you you know everybody wants to talk about the people that you all went to school with, right? Well, I don't do that. I didn't care about those people when I went to school with them. I sure don't care about them now, you know? So if I do run into somebody or have lunch with somebody that I went to school with, obviously, if I even talk to them, then I had some sort of consideration for that person. But that doesn't mean that the rest of the people that we went to school with, I, you know, why waste time with that? Unless it's good, unless it's something positive, unless it's something encouraging, unless it's a blessing. You know, and I just did a video on Facebook, the blessing is in the tongue, but so is the curse. And what a lot of people don't realize is, is the thing that you say about other people will come back on you. Imagine the dirt. Imagine the dirt that, that has been... Uh, that you have put on another, or that I have put on another, but I, I really don't do that, so I can't say that. But imagine the dirt that you've put on somebody else by what you've said about them. Would you want that to happen to you, whatever you spoke about? It doesn't matter if it's true or not, because the, the truth of the matter is, is that You weren't there. Now, if you were there and you're talking to a therapist, that's a whole different issue. If you're talking to a pastor, a priest, you know, somebody that you're going to for enlightenment, encouragement. You know, one of the things that was beautiful about, um, about my dad is, um, is if my mom had a problem so bad that she went to somebody, she'd usually go to somebody that liked my dad enough that would say the good things about my dad. She wouldn't go to people that would pick her side and, and tell her what they thought she wanted to hear. They encouraged her about my dad. So when people come to me, if they do come to me and they say, hey, you know, my wife is this, my wife is that. I, I, what I tell them is, is brother, then why'd you marry her? What were those things that made you believe that she was worth loving for the rest of your life? What were those qualities? And why have you chosen not to see those anymore? Has it truly gotten to where um, she has... Uh, she has changed so much that she doesn't have those qualities anymore. I'm not talking about a few pounds. I'm talking about if she started drinking or doing drugs or something like that. That's a whole different story. That's a whole different story. Are you forgetting the things 
that attracted you to the people that are in your life that you loved about them? So much so that you're going to other people who don't even know this person. And I'm not talking about a therapist or something. I'm talking about somebody who doesn't even know this person, but only knows you. Are you going to them? Talking about all these negative things about, about whoever it is that you're, you love? What do you think they're going to tell you? Especially if, if they're a saboteur or if they're toxic, narcissistic. They're going to tell you exactly the things that will disrupt that relationship. You know why? Because that's what the enemy does. Disrupts relationships. If the things that are everlasting is faith, hope, and love, anything that is not in faith, hope, or love, it just ruins everything. Tears it up. Because what you think matters. What you say even matters more. But as a man thinketh, so is he. So not only will you become that, but also, you'll say it. You'll talk about it. And usually with the wrong people. The people that will sabotage your life. Destroy foundations. If you're going to go talk about somebody you love with someone else, do it with somebody who challenges what you have to say negatively, what your negativeness is. Do it with somebody who is positive in your life, who encourages you. You know, I've seen people go talk to people that don't even talk well about their own selves. And they're, what are you, you looking for a peanut gallery? Are you looking for a bandwagon? No wonder you're miserable. You've sabotaged yourself. Completely sabotaged yourself. Rumors. Rumors. You've started rumors. Doesn't matter if it's just you and one other person. You've started rumors. That's character assassination. That's bearing a false witness. Because just the way you think you saw it is not exactly it. And I'm not talking about gaslighting. I'm talking about, you know, that person, uh, there's something going on with them if they've gotten you to a place where you can't even recognize the things you loved about them anymore. Something's happened. In no way am, am I saying that, you know, if you're being abused or you're being, you know, um, uh, with somebody who's psychotic, you know, uh, sociopathic, toxic, narcissistic. If you're with somebody like that, then you need to question what in the heck did got you in there in the first place. Heal. Go heal. Talk to people that have your best interest at heart. And I'm not talking about just family. I'm not talking about yes men. I'm not talking about yes women. I'm not talking about people that take your side all the time. Or just talk to them. And if you can't talk to them, then bring somebody in that can talk to the both of you. There's a failure to communicate going on. A failure to communicate. I was in a, a relationship um, a while back. And... All this person ever had to do was talk to me kindly, <laughs> you know, <laughs> not sabotaging me like they did all the time, not trying to gaslight me like they did all the time, not lying to me like they did all the time. All they ever had to do was talk to me. Sit down and talk, communicate. And there may be some yelling. But isn't it worth it? 
Aren't some relationships worth going through the difficulties with? Aren't they? Really, aren't all relationships, good ones, worth going through the difficulties with? Because I promise you, if you leave mine, if you leave me, when I'm going through a difficult time, you're not going to come back during the good ones. You're not going to come back when the things are good. You're not. You left. You took off. You ghosted. I let the dead bury the dead. I respect your decision. <laughs> you know, if you ghost me, you're gone. You're a ghost. I don't know you. I can't see you. I can't hear you. You're gone. But if you're willing to help me go through the hard times in my life, the difficulties in my life, not make more difficult times, but, but want to encourage me through them, even if it's just a phone call, you know, can't you just give a phone call and say, hey, man, I just want you to know that there's not anything that can stop you. You're going to do this. You're going to make it through it. I may not ever want to talk to you anymore, but I'm just checking on you and <laughs> letting you know. You're going to do okay. You're going to make it. Man, that'll lift your spirits, right? Those are the kind of rumors I love. Anyway, thank you. Please like, share my videos. Please hit the like button. Comment if you'd like to. I haven't quite figured out how to read all the comments, but I'm getting there. I'm getting better at it. Thanks for listening.